Uh, you introduced a very personal aspect of your life into this hearing this morning, and that is that you suffered a tumor that had to be removed. Could you tell us what were the conditions before you had to go on the surgery? The condition in regards to the preparation of the surgery? No, the conditions you suffered. Uh, major headaches. That's all? Yes. Did it cause you to forget things? I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I, I don't know. No, you personally had to, uh, had to know whether you forget things or not. Well, I forget things all the time. But before the surgery, did you forget things? Yes. And after the surgery, you still forget things? Yes. So you're telling us that a lot of the things that may have happened before the surgery, you forgot. I forget a lot of things, sir. That's it. And I'm having a very difficult time this morning. Well, it's afternoon now. You told us about your surgery. And I wish you well. I hope that there are no further issues. Thank you. But as far as I'm aware, brain surgery is not done in Corazal. The hospital there, the government hospital, has no capacity to entertain that kind of surgery. I'm not even sure if Carl Huchner does, although they've been building up their capacity I to never do said that I, kind I of I never thing. said I took brain surgery. So what did you take, sir? I said I got tumor, tumor removed from the back of my head. I never said anything about brain okay. surgery. So it would have had to be from the outside, not from the inside of the skull. That's the point that I'm making. Okay. So because they would not have the capacity to go inside the skull at the Corozal Hospital. That's my understanding. Um, and if I am wrong, then we can, but I don't think that I am.